And so the hype train for Gran Turismo 7 of course shows no signs of letting up, as it shouldn't with the game a matter of months away now on March the 4th. This time we have uh, another gameplay video, Deep Forest style, like the one that we saw before, which as I've said before was probably the most controversial bit of info that they've put out, aside from it being a cross-platform game, because some people weren't too happy with how the track has been changed understandably. In terms of this one, it's a real-world circuit, so you don't need to worry about changes as much, and in Gran Turismo 6, Daytona was already one of the better-looking tracks in the game. It had the changeable day-night cycle, changeable weather, I believe as well, if I recall correctly, definitely the day and night cycle, and this, of course, being the International Speedway, is what we get a look at in the video. A change from last time with supercars on Deep Forest, this time it's the GT-style race cars, and in particular we get a better look, from certain angles at least, of, of course, the Ford GT e-car, the racing version of the later V6 engine Ford GT. So that's great to see. The Ford GT was one of the most notable road car additions in GT Sport, and of course we already knew that the racing version was coming in this game, but it's nice to see some more of it in action as well. If you do head over and check out the trailer on one of the PlayStation regional websites as well, you'll notice, of course, the car sounds are pretty good. I wouldn't necessarily say they're perfect, because it's hard to tell when you've got that many cars going past to pick out, apart from the Mazda RX Vision, which you can quite notably hear. As far as the cockpit sounds go though, the gearbox, the straight cut gear whine, it's got some nice sounds going on. It's a bit rough around the edges, which is exactly what you'd want it to sound like, being a race car, a little bit more rough and more raw, and ultimately, it's yet another teaser to get us stoked for the game. It's exactly the purpose of the trailer, or the gameplay video as it's technically called, so that's it for this update. Not a huge amount to talk about, but a great track, some great Ford action, and some great GT class action with some nice sounds thrown in there. So again, just reminding us that, hey guys, the game's coming out soon, and maybe to attract a little bit more attention from people who maybe weren't sold on the game, but for whatever reason, these trailers and gameplay videos are great to see, and I'm certainly looking forward to playing the game. So of course, it goes without saying, stick around on the channel for a lot of Gran Turismo 7 content, and it may end up being pretty much a dominated month in terms of Gran Turismo 7 in March here on the channel, which I don't think many people would complain about. So, as I said, stick around for that. Of course, check out my other Gran Turismo 7 trailer and news breakdown videos if you haven't already. There may be some bits of news or cars that have been spotted that you might have missed. But until next time, I'll see you then. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.